Hello, my name's David Taylor. I'm the author of Mastering Exposure. The 10-stop neutral density filter has become an essential item in our landscape photographer's kit bag. Its main use is to extend shutter speeds far beyond what would be possible with the camera's exposure controls only. Even in bright sunshine, shutter speeds in excess of a minute or more are often possible. This has the effect of blurring movement. Movement such as tidal water or wind-blown foliage. The chief characteristic of the 10-stop neutral density filter is its opacity. This means that certain things have to be set on the camera first before the filter is fitted. With the camera on a tripod, compose the shot, then switch to manual focus and set focus. This means that the camera won't try to refocus and fail when the shutter button is pressed down. To calculate the exposure, switch to aperture priority first. Set the aperture for the required depth of field and select the lowest ISO setting on your camera. Take a meter reading and note the shutter speed suggested by the camera. Next, fit a remote release and your 10-stop ND filter. If you shoot with a DSLR, it's worth covering the camera eyepiece at this point too. If you don't, light can leak in through the eyepiece and ruin the shot. Calculate the length of time required for the filter exposure. This can be done by doubling the shutter speed noted previously and repeating the doubling nine more times. However, it's much easier to use an app, such as Long Time Exposure, to do all that mathematical hard work. Long exposures can cause thermal noise to appear in a shot. This is seen as coloured pixels randomly scattered across an image. The easiest way to reduce the risk of thermal noise is to turn on Long Exposure Noise Reduction on the camera. This will effectively double the length of the exposure, but will save many hours in post-production with the clone tool. If the exposure is less than 30 seconds, use manual exposure mode, setting the same aperture as you did in aperture priority mode. Then set the required shutter speed. If the exposure is greater than 30 seconds, switch to bulb mode. This means that the shutter needs to be locked open for the required amount of time. Some cameras show the elapsed time when shooting bulb exposures. Mine doesn't, so I use a stopwatch app on my phone as a timer. For exposures of over a minute, a few seconds in accuracy isn't that important. Once the exposure is complete, check the histogram. Underexposure is more common than overexposure. Using a 10-stop ND filter isn't a fast process. However, when everything goes right, the results are compelling and often surreal and otherworldly.